Greetings brothers and sisters. My name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I want to share an experience I had. I had a rapture vision and before I share it, I want to say that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He came in the flesh. He died on a cross for your sins and mine and rose again after three days for our salvation. He is the only way to heaven and he is the only true God. A couple of days ago, I was in prayer and I felt a very strong presence of the Holy Spirit. I saw a vision of Jesus coming in the clouds and he was glorious. He was so strong and beautiful and trumpets were going off loudly. Mighty angels were blowing golden trumpets beside him. Jesus was coming. He was the center of it all and he was coming through the clouds in glory. There were many souls with him and they surrounded him like a great cloud. I could see so many people right behind him as if they were coming with him. Light enveloped me like a cloud and this great glory felt like being in bright sunshine with warmth and joy around me. I was enveloped by it, and Jesus was all I could see. His presence was bright, and I could still see him. I knew that light, this light, was surrounding all believers like a great cloud of glory. The cloud then lifted, and I was being drawn up into his presence. He looked like he was getting closer to me, though I knew I was being drawn up to him. I could see uh, this huge cloud and I couldn't see individual people, just this great cloud. And it was like a net pulling people up. I then had a glimpse of the earth as it was be left behind just for a moment. I could see that the whole huge glory cloud had lifted off the earth and what was left was a dark and very cold world. It looked lifeless, almost like a corpse, and it went silent. Suddenly I was in his presence, and I was enveloped by the glory of Jesus. He was the center of everything. He was light so bright and warm. He was like coming home to the most amazing place I can ever imagine. The vision ended, and I felt so encouraged by it. I wanted to share a scripture that adds some uh, insight to this vision, 1 Thessalonians 1, 13 through 18. But I don't want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus shall we always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. And that was the scripture. I hadn't really noticed that it says that he will bring with him those who are asleep in Jesus or have passed away. That was interesting as I saw souls coming with Jesus. Also note that the scripture says that the same confidence that you had that Jesus died and rose again is the same confidence that you should have that those who died will come with him and will be present. There are also those who are dead who will receive their new heavenly bodies right before we do. I wonder if these souls come with him and are joined at that moment to their new bodies. Just wondering. Psalms 18, 18 through 19 also talks about coming into a very broad place. I felt that when I had the vision, I was coming into a very large place of his glory. I felt no restrictions of the earth and the sense of joy and freedom like I had never experienced before. Here is that scripture. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my support. 
He also brought me into a broad place and he delivered me because he delighted in me. In the time we live in, we are on the brink of calamity. However, the Lord is our support and he will deliver us. We will be brought up into his glory, into a broad place of joy and beauty. We will be saved. I just wanted to encourage you. The rapture is coming. It's Jesus who is our focus. His glory will be everything. I hope that this is an encouragement for you. So keep watching. See you in the clouds soon. This is Linda with Simple Help.